Hey crafty cuties, welcome back to another junk journal with me. I am just hopping right in here and we are going to complete the rest of my vacation junk journaling memory keeping. So I'm just starting off from where I left off. I will have a playlist down below if you want to see me create this journal and um, do the first half of the memory keeping portion. I have laid my photos out on the pages that I want them to go on just to save a little bit of time in this video. Um, I was trying to do this part, you know, pretty fast and if you guys saw in my uh, photo prep video, I have the photos matted and some of them, them have flaps to create little flip outs. But right here I'm just using washi tape actually to make these two photos um, kind of flip out so that I can have two on a page because I do have quite a quite a big amount of photos that need to fit into half of this journal. So for this layout, it is a folder and I'm just gonna go ahead and I glued and stapled the edges because I did not do that prior to. And I'm just gonna stuff in a handful of photos because I have so many, but I wanted to add a little bit of decoration here. I'm going through some of my vintage ephemera that I got from Feed the Birdies, an amazing shop on Instagram. She is amazing. I used to chat with her a lot and I just haven't lately since since my since I've been pregnant. <laughs> but so I'm just making a little cluster here, but for the majority of this junk journal with me, you're going to see that I'm really just kind of speeding through. I'm not doing a ton of decoration, but I feel like it works because in a junk journal that you have that you're using that's like decorated with decorative papers and has folders and tuck spots um, and then along with matted photos I feel like you don't need to do too much to the layouts for it to look decorated and finished and so I love that for this page I am using a glassine envelope because I had a few little tickets and like a little map of this museum that we went to so I put those down and I like how it's clear so you can kind of see through and see that there are some pieces of ephemera in there like real life ephemera <laughs> but then on top I'm adding the photo that coordinates with that day and I just had a fun little ticket here um, for this next layout, it was some photos of our family at a beach, and I chose the one that Alistair and Hans are at an arcade, and I had this um, vintage money that I wanted to use as the background. I'm trying to figure out where to put this other family photo, so I'm actually just stuffing that into um, a craft paper bag that I had. So. You can see here, a lot of times I don't know how to use more playful things like this, like vintage money or game pieces. Um, I have used the little cards quite a bit. I cannot think of what they're called right now. Um, I was going to say Jeopardy cards, but I can't think of it. But anyways, um, but a lot of times I use those by like covering them up with other things. So that's something that I would love to kind of challenge myself to use a little bit more because I really like how they look. I found this vintage label. I thought it would be fun to place over the photo because I also am doing pretty minimal journaling for these um, layouts. I, after I was done here, I did go back though and I added some journaling, but uh, for the most part, I didn't do too much. I'm just adding some glue along the edges and you can see I placed it around the three edges because I thought maybe I was going to turn it into a pocket, but I did not. And then over here, I'm wanting to add another little spot that I can add a tag because I did want some journaling for these photos. I wanted to talk about how far along I was pregnant and what it was like being pregnant on vacation. So I'm just kind of going through the things that I had out. To make this process pretty quick and easy for me, I also only had minimal things out because I feel like when I have too many options, it really it really adds on a lot of time for um, my memory keeping process. So I just ended up adding that little craft envelope and I add some journaling later. 
but I did get use of some of these Tim Holtz stickers. I really wanted to use some of my supplies up. That's another thing. I'm guessing you guys can relate. We buy all of these things, you know, all of this fun die cuts and ephemera and just all kinds of journaling cards and stuff. And I don't know if you guys noticed, but I feel like I don't end up using a lot of it. Especially when I'm making a journal for someone else. Um, it's hard to know like what they are going to want their page to be decorated like. So I feel like a lot of times I, I don't use those things. But now I'm using um, a Legoland bag. You guys can probably see I keep a lot of things when I am on vacation so that I can incorporate them into my journals. And I almost use those things as my decoration and my backgrounds. And I love it because it's just an easy way to kind of incorporate those pieces and make them more, um, not efficient, but um, I don't know. It just makes them, it makes more sense to me, I suppose. So you can see I'm pretty much just going through this process pretty quick. Um, I do like to take a little break here and there and like add color or, you know, add a pocket, like go a little bit more out of my way than I normally would. Because on a regular basis, you guys, when I am caught up with memory keeping, I like to take a good amount of time per layout. That's normally how I do memory keeping and I usually am pretty good at staying caught up and I'll go week by week. But obviously with my pregnancy, um, it's kind of shown me that you can still do it. You just have to catch up. And so here I'm just adding these photos that kind of flap out. And I added those flaps um, earlier on when I was doing the photo mats. But yeah, so I don't, I'm not a big fan of playing catch up, but I'm going to have to get used to it just because uh, I know when the baby's here, that's probably what's going to happen and I think I'm going to work on figuring out a different way to do memory keeping so that it will work for me and so that I can stay more caught up when the baby's here. Um, I was able to keep up with memory keeping when Alistair was little but I did that by doing digital photo books and those were always just really quick and easy and I think one huge tip in keeping up is by having the photos that you take on your phone organized make folders in your uh, camera roll for each month or even week if you want and place your favorite pictures but not too many because that's the thing if you have too many you don't need you know you don't really need every single picture or 500 pictures of you baking or <laughs> so I try to pick my favorites so I'm kind of wrapping up here and I'm just placing the extra photos that I had on a clip because I had so many and I have a few brochures that I wanted to include and I just clipped that on as well. I hope that these videos are helpful to you or somewhat inspiring. You know, I'm not really teaching you a whole lot, but I'm showing you that memory keeping can be fun and easy. And I know majority of people are catching up and that's okay. All right, guys, I will see you later. Bye.